You all right, Mary? What's your uh, What's your father? What's his nationality? He's black. So uh, take a look at this sign over here. Right. Your father. What tribe would he be from? Judah. Judah. You know who else hails from that tribe, sis? We're gonna read it for you out the Bible, cause you believe in the Bible, right? All right. So you probably never heard your your pastor ever teach like this, have you? No, no. All right, you got that for me? Hebrews? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident. So it says, Mary, it's evident, right? Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who's our Lord, Mary? Who's our Lord? You don't know? When you read the Bible, who are you, who do you have your faith in coming out of the Bible? Jesus, right? So our Lord sprang from the same tribe as what you said your father would have sprang from. Yes, right. Did you know that? Let me ask you this question. What's the color of Christ? What does Christ look like to you, Mary? He's black? Okay. Uh, how would you prove that? If I was just a, a stranger walking by. You, but you don't have that. But where would you go? Did you know how to explain this before reading it? You did? So where would you go? Huh? The Bible. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Let's get one and one real quick. We're going to, uh, so you that way you can have this knowledge. You can retain this knowledge. So uh, anyone who asks you, you'll be able to explain that to them. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So in Revelations, it's revealing what Jesus Christ looks like, right? Read, uh, jump down to verse 13. Verse 13. Bring it out. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who's that, Mary? Who is one like unto the Son of Man? Who's that Son of Man it's talking about? It's talking about Christ. You're absolutely right. Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girded about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So let me back up a little bit. It said he was girded about his paps and his loins, right? So that means Christ was not just a spirit, right? He had an actual body, all right? So we got to understand that Christ was a, a person on earth walking just like us. And now we're going to get the description of what he looked like. Read verse 14 again. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it's saying the hairs on his head were white in color, woolly in texture, all right? Who has woolly hair on this earth today? Us, right? So called black people, right? Bring it up. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's talking about the whites of his eyes were red, right? So the images that they portray, they don't portray him with woolly hair or with red, the whites of his eyes being red, do they, Mary? Right? Read on. In his feet, like unto fine brass. Mary, what color is brass? What color is brass? Like a dark gold or bronze color, right? Now, we're going to show you how dark Christ was. My brother, over here, come on over. Come on over. We're talking about the Bible here. We're talking about Christ, your Lord and Savior. Read. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So, Mary, if you burn anything, what color is it coming out? Brother D, how you doing? All right, all right. All praises. You came back. What color, if you burn something, what color is it turning? It's turning black, right? That's right. So Christ was a black man. Read it on. Read on. 
and his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice, when he spoke, Christ spoke loud. That's All right, great. he wasn't a soft speaker. He was a very austere man. Without right? Brother Gerald, he's a preacher. Okay, Brother Gerald. So you, you've heard this verse, right? You've heard Revelations 1, 14 and 15? You taught it to your congregation? Why not? Why not? Nation is women's support. Nation is children.